position. The issue is, am I ready to follow God? Am I ready to stay close to Him? Am I willing to put the Lord first in everything? Because if I will seek first the kingdom of God, everything else, all my guidance, all my questions, everything I need to have, everything I need to know, it will be answered to me. And if it's true for me, is it not also true for you? So the question of, this, of the message this morning is, does God still guide? And I say to you, yes, he does. You want proof? Let me give you the ultimate proof. The ultimate proof is his son, Jesus. Amen. Who came to do his father's will. And as he approached the cross, listen to what I'm telling you. As he approached the cross, Jesus struggled with the will of God. In his, in his agony, he cried out, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my will. Did Jesus do the will of God? Did he, did he do the will of God? Just, just look at the look, look at the dying form of the Son of God, beaten, bruised, rejected. A man, as the Bible says, a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief. When he died, his life appeared to have been wasted. Even his closest friends had the question: Have we wasted it all? There was only one person who stayed with Jesus, his mother. And she remembered all that had been told to her. Let me give you this one up. You really want to know what's, what's, what's coming? Picture Mary. She knew what was coming. She saw it come, she saw it happening, she saw it taking place, and there was nothing could be done because she knew what her son had come for, because God had told her, had revealed it to her, and she realized it, it was her savior as well. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mary, did you know that your baby would walk on water? When he died, his life appeared to have been west wasted. But God still guides us as his children. Oh, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Amen. And how does he guide us? One step at a time. God, you are my God, and I will never praise you. Step by step. Yes, amen. Step by step, I'll follow. Amen? Amen. Now, I realize that that doesn't answer every question. But it does answer the most important question, the main question, the, the greatest question ever. Can I count on God this week? Yes. Amen. Amen. Can I depend on God? Yes. Father, there are many out there today who need a touch. Amen. Yes. They need a word. And perhaps today this word is for them as much as it was for me. There are those Lord, that are suffering different things in their lives, are suffering loss through this holiday. We've had people who, as I said earlier, Lord, you know who they are. Young people early in life leaving this world. And we try to console ourselves and comfort ourselves by saying, well, they're in a better place. Hmm. If God were still here. And then there are those that are here, even as I, as I think about this right now, Lord, I ask God right now, Lord, for this man that's in St. Joe in regards to his wife. God, that you would give him strength. And that God, that your mercy, Lord, that it would cover his wife. And that God, that grace would abound in that household as he watches as his wife slowly slips away. 
And Lord, there are those like the prayer request we just got, Lord, folks who are suffering from uh, this, the, this second round of a, a different strain of some sort of a virus and other sicknesses, Lord. There are many things out there that folks are dealing with. And Lord, we're asking today, throughout all this madness, throughout all this, this, this craziness that's going on in the world, where are you, Lord? Could I ask today, Lord, just speak to us where we are. Reveal how we should react, how we should respond. Lord Jesus, as we go about our day, we pray that you would recognize not only the word on our lips, but the words is in our heart. Louder all the stories. I've seen all the Witnessed all the glory, tasted all that's fine. Nothing compares to the greatness I know when you love. Oh, 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 oh. This God, this God who is God forever and ever will guide you to the end. Yes. This God, the God of the cloud and the God of the fire is the God forever and ever. And he will be our God even to the end. The end. Amen. Amen. Would you stand with me? Lord, today we have gathered... Lord, I feel a sense of your presence now, probably more than I did earlier. <coughs> Lord, there's so much yet to be done. There's work to be done. There's ministry opportunities that abound. There are lives that they're, they're, they're held in the balance right now. And here we are right now today. We're here in this place. Some of us uh, in our spiritual walk, our faith walk, we've come to a certain point and we're saying, now what? Some have come to certain points and they when, when the question asks, now what? You re realize what was going to be de demanded or required of you, and you said, no, it's too hard. It's not what I want. It's not what I like. Lord, I ask that right now that you would send the Spirit of God to them, the truth, 
as we shared last week, Lord, you know the word that you've given.